Our next example on heat transfer is on double pane windows. So here we're going to figure out how much heat is transferred through a double pane window if the inside temperature is 20 degrees centigrade and the outside temperature is zero degrees centigrade. And just again, for oversimplification, we're going to assume that those are indeed the temperatures of the inside piece of the glass and the outside piece of the glass. Um, and of course, in real life, that's not the case, but just so for comparison to what we did before. So the equation we normally use is dQ dt is equal to k, the heat conductivity constant, times the cross-sectional area, times the difference in the temperature between the outside and inside, divided by the length of the path that the heat has to travel. But in this case, since there are more, since there's more than one layer, there's three layers here, we can't use the equation as is. So what we're going to do here is take the k and bring it down. So we're going to write this as A, the cross-sectional area, times the difference in the temperature, divided by L, divided by K. And since there are three layers, we need the L divided by K for all three layers. So really what this becomes is this becomes equal to A times delta T, divided by L1 over K1, plus L2 over K2, plus L3 over K3. So however many layers there are, you need to have an L over K factor uh, in, for each layer. And as we will see later on, that the L over, key, L over K is, is a, a factor that is actually used in building materials, and that's some, usually called the R rating. So the, the uh, rating for the conductivity versus thickness of the, uh, of the layer. All right. Now that we have the equation I want to use, let's plug in all the values. So this is equal to the area, which is 2 meters squared, uh, times the difference in the temperature, which would be 20 centigrade degrees, divided by the L over K for each layer. Now the L1, uh, notice that each layer is a half a centimeter thick, so the L1 is um, uh, 0 0.005 meters divided by the K1. Now, since the first layer is glass, we use the 0 0.8. So it's 0 0.8 joules per second times meter times centigrade degree. Okay, plus. Now, the next layer is air, and this is the beauty of a double pane window. The air is trapped between the two layers of glass, and notice the heat conductivity for air is much smaller than the heat conductivity for glass, which is the insulating layer that makes it very difficult for heat to travel through a double pane window. So here we get 0.005 meters divided by 0.024 joules per second times meters times centigrade degrees. Notice, since this in itself will be a much bigger number, because 0 0.005 divided by this much smaller k will be a bigger number, and therefore will make the overall fraction a smaller fraction. We still have our third layer, so we have plus, and that will be 0 0.005 meters divided by 0 0.8 joules per second times meters times centigrade degrees. All right. It's a little messy with all the units. Typically, I would like to leave the units off, but just to, see, just to make sure that when you uh, simplify all the units, you'll end up with joules per second or watts. So let's go ahead and calculate that. So in the denominator, we have two of these terms. So we'll take 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.8 and double that because there's two layers. And we add that to this following layer, which is 0 0.005 divided by 0 0.024 equals, so now that's the total sum of the denominator, we push 1 over x on the calculator and then multiply it times 2 and multiply it times 20 and we get 181 joules per second uh, which is equal to uh, 181 watts. Now I don't know if you saw the previous video but on the previous video we had a window the exact same size, single pane windows, just one layer of glass, same conditions, same cross-sectional area, same inside and outside temperature, and I believe the answer there was 6,400 watts. So notice the enormous reduction in heat loss through a double pane window as compared to a single pane window. So if you want to have a well-insulated house, you definitely want to have double pane windows on there, in there, especially if the difference in the temperature between the inside and the outside is large. And that could be in very hot deserts where you want to keep your house cool and when it's very hot on the outside, so you don't want too much heat transferring into the house. 
as well as in a very cold climate where you don't want too much heat traveling outside the house. And in some places where it's really cold, like in the very cold area in Siberia, in, in some houses they have what we call triple pane windows, three layers with two layers of air just to keep that heat flow to a minimum. Again, this is an oversimplification because typically speaking, the actual temperature of the inside and the outside of the glass is not equal to the temperature of the air inside and outside, so, but it gives us a pretty good approximation. And that's how we do heat transfer to a double pane window.